Today I'm going to show you a simple checklist that you can follow if you are trading ICT. So as you can see on screen, I have five different things that you should look for when you are, you know, looking to get into the market with the ICT fair value gap entry model. So first of all, what you'll need to see is you'll need to see some sort of liquidity grab. The next thing you'll need to see is market structure shift and displacement. So all displacement is, is when, you know, market changes direction and then it goes in the opposite direction with conviction and, you know, intent. So the next one is fair value gap created. So you need to see a fair value gap so you can get involved in the market. So you need to see price then trade into the fair value gap. And for me personally, I look for a risk to reward of over 1.2 at least. So these are just a general rule that you can use when you are looking to get involved in the market. So what I'll do is I'll come down and give you an example. So this isn't the cleanest example in the world, but you know, it will show you how you should be looking at it. So for example, around here, as you can see, we do come down, we do come up and we take this high right here. So this would be your liquidity grab. And then once this happens, you can then drop onto the lower time frame. So for example, the one minute time frame. Once you come down, as you can see, we come up, we come down, we make a, you know, a minor swing low right here. And then what you'll see is that this swing low is taken. So for me, this is my market structure shift. What you will be able to see then is you will be able to see a fair value gap right here. So from here to here, as you can see, there's a void in price and it has now created a fair value gap. What happens then is that price comes down, it comes back up, trades into the fair value gap. And here is where you can get involved. So if I just zoom in and show you, if you enter at the start of the fair value gap, and then you will want to put your stop, you know, above, you know, somewhere around this candle right here. So a 2.6 pip stop. So a really, you know, respectable pip stop loss. And for me, what I was doing is I was, you know, targeting these lows down here. So I was targeting these, you know, equal lows down here. So let's just see what the risk to reward is and see if it is viable to get involved. So as you can see, the risk to reward on this trade is a 5.15. I know a very respectable trade and a very simple one at that. So that's just a simple checklist that you can follow when you are trading the ICT 2022 mentorship.